Twenty-six men, carefully chosen for their courage and ability, formed the Arizona Rangers. Fame and public acclaim was not their objective. This is perhaps why the story of these twenty-six men has never been told until now. Somewhere with that Martin kid. Get him for me. Yes, Captain. Well, come on. What are you waiting for? Uh, an opening. I've given you three already, but you didn't notice. In wrestling, you've got to... Not again. You weren't watching. I shifted my weight. You shifted mine a little, too. Well, let's try again. This time, don't take your eyes off me. All right. Hey, Clint! I see what you mean by keeping your eye on the other fellow. Maybe you're learning a little too fast. Captain wants you, Clint. I figured I wouldn't rate a whole day off duty. Behave yourself, Pete. Sure. And thanks for helping me learn that new hope. The way my back feels, I'm the one needs help. Where is it this time? Don't know. But I hope you like tortillas and frijoles. Mexico? He's been talking all morning to Lieutenant Gomez. Well, it can't be as bad as the last one. You sent for me, Captain? Yes. This is Lieutenant Gomez of the Mexican Federal Police, Clint Travis. He's an honor, senor. How you do, Lieutenant? Did you ever hear of Juan Morales? The bandit? The bandito, see, si, but he's also the leader of the rebellion against the Mexican government. From what I hear, there's a lot to rebel about. The peons, they are unhappy, discontent. But Juan Morales is not helping them. He is hurting them. He goes among them in stores of trouble. He murders, he plunders, he tries to make himself rich. Juan Morales would rule Sonora tomorrow if he had guns. Now that's where we come in. Because of Morales, gun smuggling is big business along the border. Lieutenant Gomez thinks we can stop it more effectively on the American side. With 26 men, Captain? With less. Large-scale smuggling means some kind of organization. You ought to find out who's running that organization. I'll do my best, sir, but where do I start? The guns are crossing the border somewhere near Douglas. Morales' wife lives near Douglas. Maybe she knows something. You'll contact Mrs. Morales and hint that you know where you can get your hands on a couple of hundred rifles. I've arranged to borrow some obsolete 4570s from the Army. They'll be under single guard in the warehouse in Fort Huachuca. If you get a bid for them, contact Leo Roberts, that'll be me, at Fort Huachuca. Got that? Leo Roberts, Fort Huachuca. Arrange a definite date for raiding the warehouse and leave the rest of us. Anything else? I'll fill in the details when you've drawn your rations. I need not tell you, senor, how much my government appreciates your cooperation. Good luck, Mr. Travis. Thank you, Lieutenant. Mind if I ask a question off the record, Captain? No, go ahead. How do we know Morales is as bad as Gomez makes out? Maybe he is trying to help the people. Sort of a Mexican Robin Hood, eh? I've heard him call that. Well, you've been listening to the wrong people. 
Do you think we'd be in this if we didn't know he was bad? I didn't mean it that way. How did you mean it? Sorry, Captain, I shouldn't have asked. Well, I'll tell you anyway. Morales is a brutal, sadistic criminal who'll stop at nothing to become dictator of Mexico. I have orders from the capital to cooperate with Gomez to the fullest extent. Does that satisfy you? Yes, Captain. Then draw your rations and report back here for final briefing. You ought to be in Douglas by day after tomorrow. All right. Hey, amigo. Me, senor? I where I can find Mrs. Juan Morales. Senora Morales? That's right. Over there. What did he want? The home of Senor Morales. He is a friend of yours, Senor? Wouldn't exactly call him a friend. See Mrs. Morales. What about? She lives here, doesn't she? Mama, there's a man to see you. Yes. Oh, what is it you want? You're Mrs. Juan Morales? See. Si. Then I'd like to talk to you. Oh, Johnny, he has done something bad again. Not as far as I know. Oh, bueno. I think you might be able to help me on a deal I've lined up. I, uh, I do not understand. Well, you see, I can get some rifles, about 200 of them, and I'd be willing to sell if I could get a fair price. Rifles? What need have I for rifles? I hear your husband's mighty anxious to get My home. husband? Yes, Juan Morales. You will please to leave. Huh? I know nothing of Juan Morales. But you're his wife, and I thought well, that... I have not seen him for 12 years. We do not speak his name in this house. Now, please, go. Well, sure, but you I... You better do as she says, mister. I guess maybe you're right. Sorry I bothered you, ma'am. Hey, mister. Yeah? I need a gun. I might buy one of your rifles to be cheap. Sorry, son, but I'm going to ask around town and try and sell them all in a bunch. Got a match? Sure. Name's Sam Gorman. I gotta talk to you. Go ahead. Not out here. Follow me down the street. Hands up high. What's the idea? Never mind the question. Unhit your gun belt with your left hand. If you're after a dog, mister, you got the wrong man. Just stay where you are. die after all, eh, amigo? I'm not so sure. Yeah. Eh, you could have come peacefully. But no, you want to fight. I never feel peaceful when someone has a gun on me. Then you are a fool. Well, now that you know who I am, who are you? I am Juan Morales. Morales? This side of the border? For me, there are no borders. Well, anyway, you're just the man I've been wanting to see. <laughs> a lot of people want to see Juan Morales. They want to see him hung or shot in the back 
was turned over to the Federales for the reward. I don't want any reward. I just want to make a deal. The rifles? Yeah, how'd you know about them? Do you really have these rifles? Well, not exactly. I have a friend in the army, and the other night he was telling me his outfit had 245 70 stashed away, with only one man guarding them. That gave me the idea, and we agreed to go partners. Where are the rifles? I get paid before I answer that. How much? $20 a piece. $4,000? You're crazy. You couldn't get them cheaper anywhere else. They cost you nothing. That's why I like the deal. Then you are a fool. Am I? Juan Morales is an expert at making people talk. I can make you tell me where those rifles are, and you would get nothing. Now, wouldn't that kind of discourage anyone else from trying to get guns for you? Uh, how do I know you're telling the truth? Maybe you're a spy for the Federales. Maybe these rifles are baiting a trap. They could be, but if you don't want them, just say so and I'll... Juanito. Stay with him. I'm sorry I couldn't get away sooner, Father. Como estas, hijo mio? Fine. Did you locate the man with the rifles? See, si, he's over there. I knew you were coming. I thought the guns would be kind of a nice surprise. You did very well, my boy. I am proud. Mrs. Morales sure took me in. She don't know nothing. It was a kid tipped me off. Tipped you off? Where do you fit in? I kind of run things for Morales this side of the border. I see. Now that you're pleased, can I go back with you? Caramba, it's always the same question. You're still just a boy. I'm 19. At 19, you were a man. My life was different. You have younger men in your army than me. They are ignorant pionis. But they fight for our country. Why shouldn't I have the, the same... The answer is no. Later, maybe. Pero, Papa, you said that the last time. Don't be in such a hurry to be a man. We'll talk about it later. When I get finished with the rifles. The boy could have saved me a beating if he'd have spoken up this morning. He could not speak in front of the woman. Yeah, I got the idea they don't see eye to eye about you. The boy's young and has great dreams. The woman has much bitterness. What about the rifles? I decided to trust you. I buy them. Good. They're about 30 miles from here near Fort Huachuca. You'll need a wagon and four or five men. I could round up some fellows in town. I'll telegraph my partner. What is this? I have to let him know when we're coming so he can arrange to be guarding the warehouse. One guard is nothing. We cut his throat quietly. That's why Leo has to be the guard. We don't want anyone killed. You don't want? You tell Juan Morales what to do? It's got to be done my way or not at all. Bueno. We do it your way. Write the telegram. After I read it, my boy can write into town and send it. Thought you trusted me. I trust you like my own brother. Guard him carefully. If he tries to get away, shoot him. Our fish is hooked. The raid is set for Thursday. Excelente. Now, for the ambush, how many men you borrow from the army? Well, Colonel Short promised me three, including the guard. With you and myself, that ought to be plenty. Nice and cold, huh? You spend the night out here again? Sure. Won't your ma worry? I told her I was going hunting. Think your father's pretty wonderful, don't you? Sure, don't you? All I know is he pays cash for rifles. No way he wants them. He gives those guns to the pioners so they can fight for the land that's been taken away from them. I see. You should see him march into a village after defeating the Federales. All the people shout, Viva Morales! And they throw flowers and pieces of colored paper. Then you've been with him in Mexico. No, but he has told me about it. They call him a great librador like he was mm, Bolivar or George Washington. Your ma don't think he's so great. She's a woman. She does not understand these things. She even believes the lies about father in the newspaper. Yeah, sometimes it's pretty hard to believe the truth once your mind's made up different. That's what I told my mother. I wasn't talking about your ma. Who are you talking about then? Suppose you figure that out for yourself. Come on, watchdog. Let's get back. Why only three men? This guy didn't show up. I tell you, four men. What are you worrying about? This job's gonna be easy. When it looks easy, that's when it's the most danger. All set? Si, amigo. You know, last night I have a fine idea. Yeah? Your friend was going to be on guard. You split the money? Yeah, 2,000 for each of us. Suppose I kill him and give you 2,500. 
I don't double-cross my friends. You'll never amount to nothing. Get him on his horse. Hasta luego, hijo. Adios, father. Are you sure I can't go with you this time? Not this time. We'll be back tomorrow. Hasta luego, hijo. Captain, I hope nothing has gone wrong. Relax, they'll be here. Well, there you are. That's my friend Leo. All we have to do now is help ourselves. Bueno. I'll take care of Leo. You'll take care of nothing. From now on, Gorham takes over. You and me, we stay here. What's the idea? As I said before, how do I know these rifles are not a bait in a trap? So you and me, we stay behind. If anything goes wrong, I put a nice big hole between your eyes. You don't trust anybody, do you? If Juan Morales trusted people, he would be dead long ago. You still say this is not a trap? That's right. I hope for your sake you tell the truth. Go on, amigo. That way. Move. Go on. If they were coming, they should have been here by now. Shh. I saw something move. Wait for my signal, Lieutenant. Uh, so far, all is quiet. Sweat, amigo? It's hot. What is the matter? I don't see Travis. He's supposed to be with him. Well, what difference does that make? These smugglers are in our trap. For the hunch, we've been outsmarted. We'll have to let them go. Let them go? This does not make sense. But suppose Travis is being held somewhere. If they find out he led them into an ambush, they'll tear him to pieces. But the smugglers, they are taking our rifles. Surely the life of one man is not so important. He's my man, Lieutenant, and all my men are important. So, you tell the truth, eh, amigo? Yeah, suppose you put that gun away now. Uh, not yet. Told you this was going to be easy. We're not yet across the border. Vamos, amigos. Look, it was a crime to stand here and do nothing. We're not going to stand here. We're going to trail them. Oh, hi, Despair. Hello, kid. Where's Gorm? Kind of late. What happened? Well, I've been away. I didn't get Gorm's message till last night. You missed out on a big one. They're off getting 200 rifles. No kidding. When will they be back? Any minute. Well, I think I'll stick around. You got any more of them beans? Sure. I'll even bottle up some coffee if you fetch the water. Where's the bucket? Over there.
You got them. You got the rifles. You haven't even seen them. Why don't you open them up? Calm down, Juanito. There's now plenty of time. Because I tip you off about them. Don't you think I should have a reward? How much of a reward? I thought maybe you let me keep a rifle for myself. You wouldn't want one of them. They're arm in too easy to trace. Yeah, he's right, Juanito. I missed all the fun. I heard you got 200 rifles. Sure. Hey, take a look. Ah, uh, not bad. How did you manage it? Me? I've got good connections. Hey, amigo. Travis. Stay where you are. Hey, what is this? He's a ranger. A ranger? The man's out of his mind. He's the one who jailed me in Maricopa last year. So you're a spy after all, eh, amigo? He rifles worry, bait. We better get out of here. One. Go. What are you going to do? It is better you not see. You mean you're going to kill him? I tell you, go. Go! Get up about. Is it, is it... You are lucky, amigo. Because we must leave, I cannot do to you what I usually do to spies. Shoot him. It'll be a pleasure. <laughs> Glad you showed up. We followed right behind you. You're in luck. Morales is with me. Morales! Don't let him get away. Don't worry. Better give up, Morales. You're covered! All right, pour it on. No, wait, his son's there with him, a boy about 19. Morales, we don't want to hurt the boy. Send him out. You heard him go. No, I will stay with you. Don't be a fool. I'm not afraid of dying. Who talks about dying? Get out. For three years, since the first time you came to see me, I want to fight to liberate our country. I order you to go. No, I'm your son. If you can die for the cause, so can I. There is no cause. I care nothing for the people or the country. I care only for myself, Juan Morales. I don't believe you. It's true. Why do you think I never let you go with me? I'm no libertador. Sure, I make promises to the people and make speeches with words I do not understand myself, so that they will not take me for a bandit. Instead, the ignorant pianists protect me from the federales and make me a rich man. You just say that because you want me to go. It is true. Why don't you believe me? I'm going to give you five more seconds, Morales. You heard him. Go. No, Padre. No, Padre. No, Padre. You no. make me do something I hate very much, Juanito. <laughs> Things had to be the way they were. In his heart, he knows the truth. But it is too soon. Give him time. Thank you, Mrs. Morales. This is a 
story of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. I, a story of 26 men whose courage helped to build the territory. 26 men who saddled up and then rode up to answer duty's call. 26 men who lived to ride again and fight for the rights and the liberty of all. This is the story of 26 men enforcing law within the territory. Praise be the glory of 26 men who rode the Arizona Territory. 